Hi ladies! I am by special request doing a video on how to make Caesar dressing using the Caesar dressing mix. So this is a great one. We really like this one. And the great perk about it is if you don't have a bottle of Caesar dressing in your pantry, get this out, mix up a quick batch, and you've got some Caesar dressing. So it's very handy. So let's get started. Now, what I've got here is the carafe. So this is the carafe for making um, salad dressing. You can use it for all sorts of things, but um, on the side is all the measurements there. So we go one and a quarter cup, one cup, three quarter, half, and a quarter, which is really nice. So when you're mixing things, you don't even need to use the measuring cup separately. You can just mix it all here and keep track of it that way. So, and also a nice thing about this craft is it has a screw top lid on it. So when you're done, you can shake it all together and then you can open it, screw top lid, nice and easy to use. Okay, so here we go. I'm using the funnel, the Epicure silicone funnel. I've got it ready. And we are gonna grab two tablespoons of the Caesar dressing mix. I'm using my spice spoon because it fits very nice in here. It's a little snug around the dressing mixes, but I just squeeze it a little bit more. So there we go, the one tablespoon. Let's see, just pinch it a little bit. There's the second one. So there we go, we've got our um, mix in the carafe, as you can see. Next, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of Greek yogurt. You can use mayo, maybe that's what's making it a little runnier but you can use less liquid just to make up for it. As you can see, it's a nice thick consistency. So I'm gonna add two tablespoons of the Greek yogurt. And there we go. And I'm just pushing it through the funnel. And then what we're gonna add next is a quarter cup milk and a quarter cup olive oil. So there's not much that goes into the Caesar dressing. Nice and simple, which is what I love. It's great. So here I have Epicure prep bowls, which come with very handy lids that you can prep your food, close it, and it keeps it nice and tight, no drip. So I'm gonna grab this milk, I'm gonna add it to the funnel, just slowly. The nice thing about the silicone funnel is I just squeeze it so it goes through. It's not like the hard funnels when you gotta wait for the liquid to go through. So it's very handy. And here I've got my quarter cup of olive oil. So I'm gonna add that in there. It's looking great. I love my Caesar dressing. And here I've got roasted garlic aioli. I like a little pinch of garlic in it. So I'm just gonna add about, mm, let's do half a teaspoon. So it depends on your preference. That's the nice part about making your own salad dressing. You put in what you'd like. If you don't like olive oil, use grapeseed oil or use, um, there's different oils that you can try instead. And if you don't like mayo, use Greek yogurt. If you don't like Greek yogurt, you can use mayo, but it may be a little runnier than you'd like. But then you can add a little more mix. So it's really up to what you'd like. So here we go. I screwed on the lid. Now all I have to do is shake. No other spoons needed. Just shake it all together. This is a fun little thing to have your kids do too. I know as kids I love doing shake and bake where you shake the chicken, get it all together. So instead of you doing this effort, give it to your kid. Have them shake together some Caesar salad dressing. Okay, so there you go. Doesn't that look great? So you can see the nice consistency. So I'm gonna use another prep bowl and I'm just gonna pour it over so you can see how you like that consistency. So it's a nice thick consistency. Very nice. So that's the Caesar salad dressing. So if you're interested in some Caesar salad dressing, let me know or any of these fun tools. Um, you can email me at mcoomins2 at gmail.com or find me on Facebook, Epicure by Mel. And um, enjoy. Have a great day, guys.